Summer is such a miserable season, isn't it? You got the heat and the humidity that makes you sweat 48 hours straight. You got bugs flying and crawling around all over the place and getting inside your house. It doesn't get dark until 9.30. But on top of that, summer also be seems to be the season where top dogs like to continually screw over the little people. Like, remember a couple of years ago when YouTube forced us to switch to the new beta channels that nobody even liked? For a week or so, people actually protested the beta channels and went on strike by not logging onto YouTube at all, showing them what would happen to them if they continued to screw us over by forcing us to do things that we don't want to do. On top of that, big companies like Viacom, Warner Brothers, Lionsgate, and other such companies who are always looking for ways to screw us over for posting videos that they claim infringes on their copyright. Well, it's happening again. Only this time it isn't the big companies like Viacom or Warner Brothers who are taking a stab at us. This time it's Congress. That's right, Congress. At this point, Congress is trying to pass the new Bill S.978, which would make it a criminal felony to stream copyrighted material on the internet. Who is this going to affect? Well, it will affect people like Mighty Film, who makes and posts YouTube poops from time to time. It will affect people like Miss Cam Flynn and Diamond Doll Jeanette, who post AMVs quite frequently. It will even affect people like Colby and Friends, Marshall Grover, and even yours truly who have posted videos of original puppet characters lip syncing to popular songs. In short, it basically affects any and everyone who use video sharing sites such as YouTube, Meta Cafe, Mega Video, Daily Motion, and other such sites because this bill isn't just applying to the posting of copyrighted material such as movies and TV shows, but it's also applying to things that fall under the Fair Use Act, such as YouTube poops, AMVs, memes, and other innocent videos like people singing karaoke. In other words, if you post anything on the internet that contains copyrighted material, even if it's the use of a song in the background, you can and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, even if your video falls under the Fair Use Act. Copyrighted material on the internet has always been a problem, but in recent years it has gotten steadily worse, because these big companies are always upping the ante to make sure that nobody fringes on their copyright. Even kids who do innocent things like make YouTube poops and memes. On top of that, third parties have really gotten out of hand recently. In fact, here's an example from my own experiences. Half the time whenever I post a new video on YouTube, the second, the exact second it's finished uploading and is processed, what do I see? Matched third party content. Why? Because of a song that's used in the background of the video. It's even gotten so ridiculous to the point that a video I posted of a fireworks display with the 1812 Overture being played by a symphony in the background has matched third party content and a copyright claim on it. The 1812 Overture, really? Who's responsible for that? The same people who went and copyrighted the Happy Birthday song? I mean really, now I know copyright is an important thing to ensure that no one steals what's rightfully yours, but this is getting out of hand. Nobody, but absolutely nobody, who posts copyrighted material on YouTube actually does so to infringe on those who own the rights of the content. They simply do it to share it with those who want to see it, like movies and TV shows that have yet to see official and legitimate home entertainment releases. It's like how Joe Murray was aware that people were selling bootleg DVDs of Rocco's Modern Life, and he was actually encouraging it since Nickelodeon and Viacom weren't giving the fans what they wanted until recently, that is. But on top of that, these big companies are always claiming that they're losing money when their content is posted on the internet. Really? Is that the case? Let's look at this logically. They weren't making any money by not releasing the content on DVD, and those who post it on YouTube aren't making any money off it simply by sharing it with other people. So if you weren't making any money to begin with, you weren't losing any money. In fact, the only way you'd be losing money is if you actually released this stuff on DVD and then no one bought it. But it goes beyond that. This is essentially revoking the Fair Use Act, which has always protected us when we post things that become sensations on the internet, like the aforementioned poops and AMVs, which some people out there, like the creators of South Park, actually encourage. This is innocent, fan-generated tributes that will eventually be declared illegal and those who do these things, even minors, can be thrown in jail for infringing copyright. 
Even I can be thrown in jail for copyright I have content I have posted and plan on posting. For example, in an episode of the upcoming Steve the Monster and Friends, it features Steve and Bethany launching a radio station in a satirical attempt to fight back at these bigger companies who buy out local radio stations and replace good music that people actually want to listen to with things like talk radio and other things that people don't want to listen to. Now I had plans on posting Steve the Monster and Friends on YouTube for you guys to enjoy, but with this new bill, that episode alone will result in me being prosecuted for use of copyrighted music in the episode. So what can we do about it? Well, knowing that this is Congress, I doubt that there's really much that we can do, but in the description of the video, there's a link that takes you to a form where you can fill it out and send an automated letter, letter to Congress saying that this bill is unconstitutional for locking people up for posting videos like you or friends singing karaoke on the internet. Congress is always complaining about things being unconstitutional, like Republican, Republicans whining and crying about Obama's health care, which would get everyone, no matter how rich or poor they are, the same quality of medical attention and treatment. Well, this is hypocritical on their part for basically stripping the American people of their rights that are otherwise protected by the Fair Use Act. So I ask that you will fill out the form, send in the letter, and then pass this video along to everyone you know to help spread the word of what Congress is up to. After all, a vast majority of what's on the internet is fan-generated content anyway. If this bill is passed, that will be the beginning of the end of the internet as we know it.